We're here at the Perkins Research Station at the Bermuda Research Plots. And uh, Alex, we've had a lot of rain recently. So how has that impacted the Bermuda crop around the state? So yeah, this bunch of rain that we get, rainy days that we get in the past, really make it difficult to control weeds during this season. Here, as you can see in Perkins, uh, we can see that it's not a very nice, it's not very nice how we have it right now, but to be honest, I'm happy. We could apply some pre-emergent in time, so seedlings uh, of weeds didn't come. And also, we apply in the right time some post-emergent herbicides and you could down, uh, knock down some of the weeds that were up. But I have seen around that producers had a hard time to, to control weeds and now lots of weeds are coming up. At the top of that, what's happening right now is Bermuda grass is breaking dormance. Where we are here in Perkins, that I would say north central Oklahoma, and the Bermuda grass are already coming up. Uh, if it's coming up right now here, I imagine that in the south the Bermuda grass already start to green up even a week ago. And I would say right now control weeds is not the best approach if you think about the herbicides. Green up is a very delicate time for Bermuda grass. Even if you try to apply a selective post-emergent herbicide, that still can damage your Bermuda grass. So you can control with a herbicide's application. After that, you see that your Bermuda grass completely green up, you see your field completely green from Bermuda grass, and it catch up at least two inches of growth. So right now, what should producers be thinking about doing to help manage their Bermuda crop? So right now, with the green up coming up, and if you have lots of weeds that you could not control, I would say that the best approach if your pasture is not too wet is go there and mow that excess of weed. Mow in a way that you are getting all that excess of weed out, but not touching the Bermuda grass new growth. Now, we need to think about fertilization. And right now is the right time for P and K fertilization. I would say wait nitrogen fertilization when all the green up is done and you have about three inches of growth. That's when the roots are active to uptake uh, all the nitrogen in the soil. For talking about phosphorus and potassium, the best way, the best approach is to have a soil analysis from your pasture and apply accordingly with that soil analysis. All right, thanks, Alex. If you'd like some more information on herbicide application and fertilizer application, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.